Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to detect a leak, whether it's a power steering leak uh, or an oil leak somewhere in a valve cover, uh, rear main seal, wherever it's at, uh, even with the coolant. So if you guys want to purchase the items in this video, you can always purchase them underneath the link in the YouTube video or on the YouTube video. If you're on the desktop version, you can click shop this video. If you're on my website, you can also click shop this video underneath the video. All right, so what we're gonna use for this job is we're gonna use highlighters. Now this brand is Sharpie. These will be in the description in the shopping cart if you wanna purchase them. Also, we have a black light pen. As you can see, it's black light. I don't know if you guys can actually see the black light in the camera. And we have a pair of yellow glasses, which comes with this kit. So pretty much what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to be creating our own leak detector fluid. Um, you can purchase leak detector fluid, but it's about $25, $26, even on Walmart uh, website to purchase it. So $20, $25 for just dye, so a little pricey. Now these came out to be about a little under three bucks. And if you get the light, what you're going to have to get anyway, even if you bought the dye, because that doesn't come in the kit, it just comes with the dye. Uh, this is roughly, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I wanna say like 12 bucks, something like that. It'll be in my shopping cart, so if you need these parts, go ahead and purchase them over there, it actually helps support my channel. Now if you're doing the antifreeze, you would leave a little bit of water in here, and we're gonna go ahead and bust one of these markers open, and we're gonna take the sponge-like material inside of it, dip it down in here, and it will turn this water fluorescent. If we were doing our radiator, we would pour the fluorescent fluid in there and then we'd let it cycle with the vehicle on and we turn our black light on and we check for any fluorescent uh, indicator that we'd have a leak. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this power steering fluid. You can get the cheap stuff, whatever you wanna get. We're gonna fill it up maybe one or two, about four lines. So go ahead and fill it up. This looks like all I have anyway left in here. So we got about two or three lines. All right. Now if you take the pen and you shine on it, it's not it's not fluorescent. It's not it's not highlighting it or nothing. So all you can see is the light goes through it, but it's not it's not coming out any kind of like bright neon like these are. Go ahead, take the back of it, kind of twist twist and pull just like that and now we need to bang the back end out and this is the cartridge right here so I'm gonna use a long wood screw you can also get a piece of string and fishing line and tie it and then drop it down in there because you don't want to drop it in there and not be able to get it back out so I'm just gonna screw this guy right in the middle a couple of times like that we're gonna take this and just wiggle it in the fluid. in there now we're just gonna put the cap back on and shake it up really good and there we go there's our die and as you can see now you turn it off look at how that lights up now this is gonna get in the system and wherever it's leaking it's gonna come out and it's gonna start being fluorescent you'll be able to find the leak right away I'm gonna crack the cap pull it off Looks like we got quite a bit in there already. If you need to, you can get yourself a turkey baster and extract some. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this in there anyway. There we go. Now we're gonna start the vehicle and let this cycle around. Go 
I give the steering wheel a couple turns back and forth while it's on the ground a little bit so it puts a little bit of resistance on it. Turn it all the way, let it hit, do a couple back and forth, then turn it all the way back the other way. You can hear the pump once it comes to a dead stop. Do that a couple times back and forth. Straighten it back out. Actually, I'm gonna turn mine to the left and leave it there. I'll be able to see the pump lines a little better. So let's get this thing in the air. <laughs> leave it kind of dark for this but this rack right here was soaking wet when I first looked at it before this video and it was covered in power steering fluid so I figured okay well maybe it's the rack but you don't want to go shoot yourself in the foot you always got to troubleshoot and go with the cheapest part first so that would be the hydraulic line and I noticed the hydraulic line you look at that hydraulic line all soaking wet but look really closely can't really see I don't think you guys can pick up on it but I'm picking up on some fluorescent right there with that wetness there's a little bit of it now where the starting point is I couldn't tell you but I think it's in between there you can see a little bit there it is you see the fluorescent see it right where that uh, nylon tape crosses over on that hose that's where we're leaking each one. This hose is probably dry rotted on the inside. So if I come back here, there's another hose underneath the oil pan. There you go, you can see it now. You see a little bit of fluorescent uh, lighting with this black light. The camera doesn't pick up on it as well as the eyes do. So if you were seeing this in person, you would know 100% that it was neon yellow, but I can only do so much with the camera, but you get my drift. So basically, if I put my fingers down, this is what I'm seeing. It's just a black hose, so it makes it difficult for you guys to see it. But I have it on my finger, and this stuff does a great job. You don't have to worry about it ruining your system it's just dye just like they use in the 25 30 dollar dye kits for a muesli three bucks so you can't beat that and i suggest this to anyone any mechanic it just it's quick easy as you can see you get a pack of you get a pack of five markers and i think this ran about three bucks so i'll have these on my uh, shopping cart of uh, the glasses also have this pen and I'll have a little bit better kits on there too if you need that. I'll go ahead and include the power steering fluid. And also for oil, you can do this to oil. You can take a quart of oil and drop a couple of those things in there, shake it up really good, take them out, pour it into your vehicle, get in there with the black light and you can find out where your leaks are coming from. Because oil won't light up fluorescent. Now when you put this in, it'll show you the new beginning of the leak. So go ahead and try that out. It can save you a lot of money. I mean, a rack, they're, they're not too cheap. So, and not to mention, if you change out your rack, you have to change, you have to get your vehicle realigned. 